here in Latham, New York in semifinal number one. And I like what Norm Duke told us last night. Speed rules. <laughs> and especially in this match again, huh? And his other quote that I really like is, he will move at will and without fear. That's right. He had his game face on last night, didn't he? Norm's always got his game face on when he's in a match. He's one of the most intense players I've ever seen in match play during qualifying. If he needs a hit, you know, he's just, he's always in the zone, mentally. This is the battle of two bowlers from Claremont, Florida. Talk about the big banana. Wow. wow. Looked like somebody kicked it at about 50 feet. My what? goodness. Kicked it dead right. Like that. How important is it for a player that feeds off emotion to get that first strike in a bag like uh, Jason? Well, I don't think it's the first shot for Jason. Jason said that, you know, he's always keyed up. He's always uh, emotional. He's got a little bit of butterflies. But you're always going to have that early on. It's what, what happens to him in the middle part of the match. And a chance oh. for Duke. Oh. oh, not a way to start. The bane of the pro bowler. Norm Duke's going really straight with his hand right up the back of it. Getting that speed up into the Robert Smith zone, leaves the stone eight. Better now than on a six, seven, eight bagger. Well, he has been very consistent this whole week. And the youngest man ever to win a PBA title did at the age of 18 back in 1983 in Cleveland, Ohio. He continues to work on the shoes. Now, last night we saw during the, uh, the, the match play, he got stuck a couple times on the, on the lanes. He would be coming up for a slide, and bam, it would just hit him. Norm's always fidgeting with his feet and with his with the tape in his ball. But I want you to watch how a man that's about four, five foot four, generate all this power. He stands with his heels hanging off the back of the approach and uses his lower body to create momentum to the foul line. He says he uses six and a half steps, but that momentum allows him to throw it so hard for a man his size. Said he squeezes it. He manhandles it and throws it hard, hand underneath, no turn. Now, well, Jason Couch, he is more comfortable with longer patterns. This is a shorter pattern this week, but he has adapted to it. He said he adapted to it rather quickly. Yeah, I think it's a credit to his ability. <laughs> Had a little trouble with the foul line, using two different bowling balls. Let's take a look to see if we can see what happened on that shot. Boy, he just fell forward. It looked like too much weight forward. Loses it off his hand. Ball never grabs, grips the lane. The important thing here is to make the spare. Well, he leaves the second open. Now, last week we saw him when bad things happened. As you mentioned in the stand-up, his rev rate started to go up, the heart rate started to go up. Is this the crucial point in the match for Jason Cowell? Absolutely, and we're going to take a look at his rev rate in frame number three versus frame number one on that left lane. Let's see if he keeps his emotions in, intact. Obviously, a devastating second frame, but it's still early. It's not the end oh, of the yeah. match yet. the mark of a champion, my friends. Well, it looked like a carbon copy of that shot on the left lane. Ball buried in the one-two. His rev rate actually went down on that shot. That's a good sign for Jason Couch. That's a good point. Because it went up last week, went down this week. First frame, 432 RPMs. That third frame, 393. Strike will put Norm up by 24. <laughs> Great and hard. That's the mantra for Norm Duke this week. This ESPN Classic program is brought to you by eHarmony.com. Are you ready to fall in love? 
I did actually look at a couple other sites, but they kind of seemed like a digital version of a bar. It just didn't seem to be really effective. Other dating sites just give you a picture and a paragraph. At eHarmony, we match you with pre-screened singles based on 29 dimensions of compatibility, proven to be the foundation for happy, long-term relationships. It didn't seem as shallow like some of the other websites. That was the beautiful thing about eHarmony, that you can go much deeper. Experience the eHarmony difference for yourself. Review all your matches for free at eHarmony.com. So I get a call from the guys at PokerStars.net, and they say, we want you to coach a bunch of ordinary people to take on celebrities and poker pros, and the best gets to play against you. If they kick your butt, they'll win a million bucks on national TV. That could ruin my reputation. What's in it for me, I ask? You'll get to start with Jade Nicole. So yeah, I think we're good to go. You could be one of my contestants and win a million dollars. A little ball work by Norm Duke. Always Both players very deliberate. Always fidgeting with that tape. And that good heel. Straight and hard and down. Straight, hard, and up the back. Keeping the ball online. This ball around the fourth board. A little bit of back end. Throwing it that hard with that much friction. That ball touches the one three. The pins are going to fly. Well, he's now up by 34. Well, as you we mentioned earlier in the telecast, our viewers have an opportunity to leave a question on the PBA website and have it answered live on the air. This week's question comes to us from Larry Smith. Well, here's the PBA website, pba.com. If you would like to leave a question, we'll read it on the air. We'll read Larry's question a little bit later on. I check that website every week. Yes, I do. There's a big vote going on now, too. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Well, Jason Couch, after throwing the, the gutter in the second and leaving that open, he has come on strong. His rev rate now is actually lower the last two shots than it was the first two. This one was 399. Ball speed are right about the same. Obviously a much better shot than he threw in the second frame. Keeping him, his emotions intact, learning from what happened to him last week in his prior telecast, right. applying it. Said he wanted to redeem himself. <laughs> And he has cut the lead down to 14. Keep striking. 